We're moving here now on to inventory. Term number 15, inventory. This is the account that tracks all the products that are sold to buyers. Why do we need to keep track of inventory and what is inventory? Okay, inventory is any uh, product, good, tangible item that is held for sale to others. Okay. It does not include uh, tables, chairs, IT equipment that is not held for sale to others. Those, those are called fixed assets. Okay. So, so inventory is items held for sale, and they are an asset because it's something you've either paid or owed for, owe for that you're offering to sell. And then so you carry it as an asset on your balance sheet, and then when you sell the item, you remove it from inventory as an asset on the balance sheet and show it as a cost of goods sold. Okay. Uh, some typical mistakes I see, uh, difficulties is keeping up with inventory. I see entrepreneurs that make a sale of something of inventory, but they leave it in inventory. Mm. So it makes their profit and loss look really nice because there's no, they sold the, gid, the widget for $1,000, but they didn't take out of inventory the $800 cost and show it as a cost. This can be very dangerous to not keep track of inventory. That's correct. So if you have like a retail shop or a, a business that sells a lot of you know, products you keep in inventory, um, again, is it in this case, would you have a bookkeeper come in almost once a week? To, no, I think um, I, I would probably recommend that depending on the type of business, uh, either a perpetual inventory that the entrepreneur or someone in their office would keep track of, or a, if not a physical inventory count at the end of the month, so that if inventory in your books is not correct, it can be adjusted to whatever the result of your physical count is. Yeah. And I don't necessarily think you need to have the accountant do that. Someone in the organization could count it and put the cost on it. You, you might get the accountant's help as far as how it's recorded, uh, that, that type of thing. So uh, a lot of entrepreneurs never take a physical inventory. Really? That's correct. How often should we be taking a physical inventory, Marvin? I, my argument is every month because it, to me it's important to have accurate monthly financials. Okay. If you, uh, if you feel confident that your inventory is correct without the physical inventory, maybe not once a month. But even if not once a month, at least quarterly. Uh, so that you at least, you know, if you're not getting it exactly right on a monthly basis, you catch it up at, at the end of the quarter. But if you've got large inventory, a lot of small items, probably that physical is going to be the only surefire way of making sure your inventory is accurate. And, and Clay, also a lot of people, a lot of entrepreneurs don't realize that they have to pay property tax on their inventory. Oh, that's, a, that's, that's a, another sneaky expense that slips up on a lot of entrepreneurs. That is, uh, uh, it's like a, you're like a demotivational speaker when you start talking about paying taxes on that inventory <laughs> stuff. So that's... That's uh, something no one wants to talk about, but something that, that's true. You need to be aware of it. It's, it's a real liability. And if you don't file your property tax report, the county assessor will give you an ugly call or ugly letter and, or assess you a tax on it uh, using you know, outrageously high figures. Let me ask you this then. Let's say that I own a retail shop and I have $1,000 of products. What kind of tax, I mean, do I pay on a monthly basis on that? What kind of property tax do I pay on that? Okay, well, it isn't monthly. It's once a year. Once a year. In Tulsa County, in most counties uh, throughout the country, they have an annual property tax report where you uh, declare your taxable assets and send it down to the county assessor. And then later on in the year, usually October or November, they send you back a bill. And the bill is you, it varies by school district yeah. as to how much the bill will be. It's usually assessed at maybe 10 or 11 percent of what of the original cost really then multiplied by the rate in effect for your school district it's not very fun it's not any fun at all okay all right you know you, you are you are a fun guy despite the fact that you're giving us all this unfun information that's this is this is just real talk uh, with a with an accountant with 40 years of experience right yes sir did, did you did you invent the word accounting or are you one of the founders it's, of that it word was not nearly as well known when I first got into business That's it's correct. unbelievable and you're, you're like a uh, the corrective business coach for all these businesses I mean all these entrepreneurs come in with their wild ideas and you have to sit down and kind of reel us all in don't you I've I've done quite a bit of that okay bear, bear of bad news I guess yeah